Hi, it's Chaz. Welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to copy a ship and use a projector to replicate the ship several times just to show you how this can be done. I've created these missiles, I've just simply copied and pasted these ones in. Um, but we're going to set up a projector system and we can then automate these using the welders and whatnot. Um, but we're just going to keep it simple and we're going to create, uh, create like a projector system and copy these missiles in. So to start off, we need to, uh, we're going to press Control and B and that copies the design. So you can see it's just pasted it in here. For some reason, it's missing the screenshot to start with, but sure enough, it does generate it. So that's the missile that I've been using. So you can see it's kind of um, created a blueprint in here. Now, this is a powered base. OK, um, I'm just going to place it here for the time being. But the, the, this method works whether or not you're on a powered base or, what, uh, or not. So yeah. What I like to do is just create the landing gear, paste a couple of uh, armoured blocks on. Again, I think I've seen this originally in the uh, easy, uh, easy Earth start, or the base starts. And all it is is just a series of... It's just a... series of blocks to give you a bit of a... Oh, I might as well try and make it a little bit neater. That one, that one, that one. Cool. Okay, so now we need a projector on there, and we'll need a battery. Oh, not that one. Battery. There we go. And just plop it on the back. Right. Um, and probably a panel, just so we can access everything. Um, yep, yeah, lovely. Okay, so, yep. Yeah. We're going to select our projector, we're going to click on the blueprints panel, and then we're going to find our uh, missile. So that's the blueprint that we've just taken, so we can just use that one there, copy to clipboard, and sure enough, it's pasted, well, it's uh, copied it in. Um, it's transparent to show that we haven't built any of the blocks yet. Um, what we need to do is move this missile so it's just touching that projector. Uh, now, what I like to do is just add in a quick little block, because um, otherwise we'd have to destroy the projector and we kind of want to keep it in place. Um, we can do some more magic stuff with the um, merge block. In fact, do we do that now? Okay, let's do that now. Okay. Um, let's scrap that. We're going to put in a merge block here. And you can see how I've got a merge block on the back of the uh, missiles. And that just allows you to um, detach without having to weld down anything. It's good for automating. Now, the next part is a bit tricky because we need to get this merge block exactly on top of this merge block. So to do that, we need to go into the projector. Um, I'm just going to keep that ticked just for... Um, well, if you're using the welders and stuff, and you want to keep keep making these missiles, so you'd keep it. You could keep the projector, and then you have to keep um, turning it back on. Now, to control it, you can see in the background it's kind of moving. I wish there was an easier way to do this. There might be an easier way to do this, but as far as I'm aware, there isn't. So I'm gonna roll it around. No idea if that's working. Your that looks like it could be in place. Vertical. No. Nope. Horizontal. Right, so I'm going to come back to this. There we go. Bingo. In place. So you can see it's just touching that. So you can test it by getting your welder out. And you can. I'm in uh, creative mode, so it's, it's, well, it's doing it straight away. But you can see how the uh, transparent blocks are now turning into actual blocks. So I'm just going to paste all this in. You can only um, create the parts that are actually touching um, another creative part, so I can't weld any of this just yet. Um, I can start welding all these bits. Oop. 
So yeah, I'm going to come back once I've uh, created a bit more of the rocket. It's looking good. It's looking good. Now at this point, you could have you could have this automatic. You could have this already in um, like your mothership, and you could have it in a, the the torpedo bay. Um, it's up to you. What I'd like to do is usually have a, a secondary ship that kind of like uh, connects onto this via like landing gears, and yeah, it'll keep it in place when you disconnect these merge blocks. So I'm just going to disconnect the merge block now. Don't think. Yeah, yeah. So if I go on here, you can see all all its uh, all the missile components are in here as well. What I should have done was name uh, merge block. Uh, which what merge block this is. So I think the first one placed down probably is going to be the projector. So I like to just call that the projector. I'm going to turn off merge block 2 because I'm assuming that's the missile. Yeah, okay. So I turned off the missile merge block and it's disconnected. And so this is where I come and get my secondary ship. Well, I'll probably already be connected. Unmerge it and then carry the missile away. And yeah, that's that. Now, that's one way of doing it. I'm just gonna get rid of this now. Oh, I'm done with this. Right, so the other way of doing it is to create uh, a rotor. Here looks good. So I'm gonna place the motor with me being in. Uh, creative mode. Uh, it's going to have the large rotor head, or large rotor part even, already attached. Um, so I need to dis detach that. I need a panel again, another panel. Put that in. And we need to attach a. Why have I got two rotors? Oh, because there's another one attached somewhere. So it'll be the rotor, it'll be rotor 2. I'm just going to call this a projector. Just so I don't get confused. And I'm going to add a small head. So this will let me control the. Uh, it'll let me create the uh, small ships. Um, see, I can't. If, if, if you create a projector, if you add a projector to a the large blocks, you won't be able to create any of the small ships. You'll only be able to create large ships. Um, so if you, again, if you wanted to replicate, uh, copy large ships just use the large rotor head rather than the small rotor head. So I'm going to attach, uh, we need the projector on it, so I've got the projector there, I need the projector on it there like that, and then I think I'm going to add a couple of blocks just to get me up over here out of the ground. Do I want to, I think I'm going to build it Hmm. Why not? Let's build it vertical. So I think they, they take off better vertical anyway, these rockets. So, yeah, uh, like before, I'm going to attach. Oh, I've already got a panel there. I'm just going to add another one here, so I've got it there. Um, go into the projector. Um, it'll be this one. We need to. Oh no, it'll be this one. Blueprints and select the missile. Um, so the missile is down there now. Uh, right. So I'm gonna get this aligned up. It's always such a chore, but if you keep the projection, if you keep the projection, then you don't have to keep doing this. Only when you change the blueprint. Right. Yep, yeah, spot on. Okay, so there we go. I've got it again. Um, there we go. You can just test that by um, welding up the merge block and you can see it all created there. Right, so I'm just going to get this one made up again. I think that's looking about there. So we can have a look. Um, yep, everything looks complete. We've got the reactors and the, uh, the gyroscopes and everything else like that. So, um, I 
think what I can do now. Oh, I missed a bit. Go on. I've got the uh, crosshairs turned, so I'm not quite sure if I can get. Oh, I missed my camera as well. I thought I had that. Alright, cool. Okay, I'm just going to call that complete now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my remote access. Uh, which missile would it be? Um, don't know. Right, can I touch a panel somewhere? Uh, yeah, that, cool. So I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call it. That's ah, more good. Nine, nine, eight, nine, six. Okay, so I'm going to call it missile nuke because that's what it is. Um, there is actually a target over there. What is it? Uh, it's a scuttler. Okay. Well, I don't trust these missiles just that much yet, but we can give it a go. Okay, okay, so it's there. So I'm going to take control of this. Um, I've already got the merge block set up there. Um, so I think all it is is a case of we turn the engines on, press 4, and away it goes. Okay. Bye bye rocket. Right, okay, so let's try with this one. This one should have the This one should have the gyroscope attached. You can check that by going into here. And gyroscope's attached. So I'm gonna rename this one. Missile demo. I'd like to take off the back bit as well, we just wait a little bit. Um, like before, remote access. I'm going to control it. Uh, so we've got control of that one there. Uh, we've got the gyro. We've taken off the merge blocks when it's not hidden. So turn on the rocket. Oh no! Shit. Right, well, I think I'll end it there because this is just going to get embarrassing. But yeah, check out the mod, it's really good. Projectors are good fun too. Alright, catch you next time.